All right, so the first one we're going to talk about is Betty Yursa. I hope I say her name right. Um, I'm going to break down the gameplay side of it and, and what she plans on doing in the house, who she gets along with, stuff like that. I'm going to break down that side of it, okay? So um, her strategy is going to be a good social game. I love that. I do respect a good social game. If you've watched my seasons, uh, you know that's kind of one of my strengths was the social side of it. So I do respect a good social game. I think if you have a good social game in the house, that can really carry you far uh, because the more friends you have... The less enemies you have, the more friends you have, the less people you have to worry about kind of targeting you. And you can, and the more friends you have, the more information you get. So if you're friends with people from different circles, they're going to kind of fill you in and then you can kind of close in all the gaps of the information you're missing from the people that don't tell you that stuff. So a good social game is very, 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 very valuable in the Big Brother house. Again, we don't know... Um, you know, everyone could say they're going to be a good social player or a good competitor or whatever it is. We don't know until they get in the house. So I'm just going to go off what they what they say. And so Betty says uh, she's going to be a good social player. She's going to align with like-minded uh, people, which is good. She's going to be a comp beast. So not only does she want to be a social player, she wants to be a comp beast. That's always good. Uh, she clashes with egotistical people and people that mansplain. She says people that mansplain. So basically what she's saying, it's like if she explains somebody something and then somebody kind of like explains it right after, um, th 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 she calls that mansplaining. So, uh, okay. Uh, she's not into a showmance. She's happily uh, in, a, in a relationship. She's very happily in a relationship. So there's no showmance, no chance of a showmance. Uh, she says she's high energy and positive. So... Um, I mean, I don't see any flaws here again, but we don't know until she gets in the house. Again, she might go in the house, see people that, that, you know, she doesn't get along with, or maybe she gets along with a lot of people. We don't know. But from what I see here on paper, looks very, very, very good. She wants to be a good social player. She says that's her strength. Uh, comp beast, which is good. She can win when she needs to. That's good. So she's, uh, she's competitive. She's athletic. Uh, I like that. Uh, she seems to have her mind in the right place. From what I see, her mind's in the right place. And only time will tell when she gets in the house. Again, it's where do, the, where do they fit in? Where Who does she make friends with? Who, who does she make enemies with? Um, that's where it all breaks down. And kind of then you can see where people fit in. But yeah, I'd say uh, on paper, very good resume. All right, the next one on the list is Helena Gill, okay? Uh, she again says social game is her strength. She even actually even says it that everybody says that. And she's not wrong. Everybody always says a good social game, a good social game. Here's the thing, you know, uh, I've been in that house a couple of times. There's a lot of people that are very good socially outside of the house. You know, you, you hang out with them after the show. They're very social, very funny, very easy to get along with. But when you're in the house, it's a totally different beast. You know, you know you're in this house against people that are, are in the house with people that are against you. And they're not really your friends. There's a game to be played. Some people aren't comfortable. You're out of your element. You don't have the the, the comfort of your, your friends around you and and the things that you know you like at home, your phones or whatever it is. So it's a def it's definitely a very different environment. And you know, there's a lot of people that are very social on the outside, but when they get in the house, it's a very, very, very different story. And that's just the reality of it. Um, th she doesn't say too much about the game. I'm not gonna lie. Um, she says she wants to have a good social game. She says everyone says they want to do that. She wants to be under the radar, be best friends with everybody. Um, usually that's a floater. Um she clashes with cocky and stuck up people. I mean, who doesn't, right? Everyone kind of, you know, clashes with them. So nothing too new there. Uh, no man's because she's taken and she's the first a Punjabi girl, she said. Okay, so here's the thing. I think that's awesome and I think that's very important. The other thing too is when people feel like they have to represent, which is, I think the representation is great, but sometimes people get that pressure where it's like they have an image, which, you know, they have an image that people, I represent the first and it's like, people are going to look at me. Hopefully that kind of pressure doesn't um, get to her. You know what I mean? Because it can, it can get to some people. It can affect some people. Sometimes they, they, instead of focusing on the game, they're focusing on what people are going to think. Okay. And that's just the reality of it. Uh, she seems like a really, really, really good girl, really nice girl girl i don't see anything about gameplay in here and that's what i'm trying to get at in this video it's nothing against her i think she's she's going to be great um she seems like a really nice person but again I'm, I'm trying to dissect the gameplay of it and the only thing she really says is she wants a good social game but she had she admits that everybody says that uh under the radar be best friends with everyone that kind of is a, the floater kind of mentality um yeah kind of thing i uh i hope she does well Game wise, she didn't give me much to go off of, so I can't really say much about it, uh, unfortunately. But 
uh, Helena seems awesome and uh, can't wait to see what happens when she gets in the house. Maybe she uh, turns it up, you know, maybe she turns it up. All right, our third house guest is Herman. I believe it's Herman. Um, again, not too much gameplay about this guy, but this guy has a little bit of flair to it. I like how he has that uh, charisma. You can see he's confident. I, I, I like that, but not a lot of information. So um, here's the thing. I feel like this guy's probably going to play a little bit too hard, a little bit too fast. I kind of get that vibe from him. Uh, I think people aren't going to trust him. I think he's going to get kind of figured out early on um, kind of deal. You know what I mean? Um, he says he wants to get everyone to fall in love with him. And then week two, he's going to turn it on. So usually people like that, they're like, yo, we're going to, we're going to go in and go in hard. They usually get they put their hands in too many cookie jars. And then once people kind of cross notes, uh, they're like, yo, this guy's in with you. He's in with me. Who is he true to? Is he lying to you? Is he lying to me? It usually gets them in trouble. Again, guys, this is all speculation because I don't know what he's going to be like when he gets in the house. But just based off what he's saying, uh, that's usually what happens. The people that want to go in and make all these alliances and kind of, you know, turn it up week two and, and stuff like that. It's like um, for entertainment purposes, yes, it's great. For a play, uh, for a player, those are the ones that usually get in trouble fast because, especially early on in the game, you you're looking for a target. Everyone's looking for a house enemy to kind of pin everything on and kind of pass the blame to. So when people go around and they're talking to everybody and they get figured out, they get tossed that blame and they're the house target and it keeps everybody else safe. That's just how the game usually plays out. And um, I mean, the guy has charisma, the guy has, you know, uh, it's hard to say again, I'm just watching this like minute and a half video of him just answering a few questions, so I could be very off, but that's just the vibe I got from that. Um, he says he clashes with abrasive, rude, entitled people. That is, uh, I mean, very, very common. I mean, exactly. I'm, I'm the same way. And, uh, he's in for a show match. I mean, the guy, I, I like, listen, I gotta tell you, man, I like this guy. I do. I like the guy. He seems very confident. He's like, he's got that swag. Uh, and he's, uh, and, uh, he says he's down for a show match. Again, I wish I had more information about the game and stuff like that, but, uh, I think he's going to go in a little too hard, a little too fast based off that minute and a half interview. Hopefully I'm wrong, but uh, that's the vibes I got. All right, now we have JC Lynn. I believe that's how you pronounce your name, JC Lynn Graham. Okay, I have a lot to say about this one, actually, to be, to be very honest with you. I actually really like, on paper, I really like her. I really like her on paper. I think she's going to do, if she, d there's parts that I think that she can do really, really well, and there's parts I think she's not going to do very well if she says what she's going to do. So uh, she used to be a competitive figure skater. You got to be really athletic for that. Um, which is a bonus. So she is athletic. We know she's athletic. Uh, she's very, very, very competitive. Um, and, but here's the problem. So those things are good. Okay. But she loves being the center of attention. You're probably thinking, who cares? That's not a big deal, but it is because the people that love being center of attention, they want all that attention from everybody in the house. You don't really want all that attention. You, you don't want the more attention you get, the more people are looking at you. They're judging you. They're trying to catch you doing something and it's not good people in that house. I promise you. Uh, if you watch at home, it's not what it seems like when you're in that house, it, everything you do, everything you say is being scrutinized, it's being judged. It, people are waiting for you to slip up to use that against you. So the more people that are looking at you, the more chances someone's going to find something to be like, yo, did you see her do that? Yo, she's with these people. And they're always focusing about, on you and always talking about you. And that's not necessarily a good thing. So being the center of attention is not really something that usually does well for people in the big brother house. Um, she is single and boy crazy. So obviously, you know, she's in there for a showman. It's most likely going to happen. Uh, she's single, ready to mingle. She says, and she's boy crazy. Uh, she wants to flirt her way through and find a big, strong man to kind of win competitions for her. And then eventually when she gets deeper in, she's going to win them on her own. Um, again, that's, that's a strategy that works. And usually when there is uh, a power couple, I'm going to call it a power couple. I mean, I have no idea if she even gets in a showman's a lot of times, um, especially if she's picking like, uh, I say picking, but I mean, if, if her showman's is a, an athletic guy, a lot of times the house will target the, 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 the athletic guy before, uh, the girl, that's just how it is. Uh, you know, that's just how it is. So it keeps her kind of protected as well. If that's what she's doing, it's a good play and it's a good plan, uh, to kind of get deeper in the game. Um, another thing she says, uh, she, her charm and she has a lot of charm and she's going to go and manipulate a lot of people. That's a, a very good talent to have. If you're really good at getting in people's heads, getting them to listen to you, getting them to do what, what you want them to do. That is a talent that goes very, very far in the house. Um, here's the thing though. This is the part I don't like. This is the part I don't like about her, not about her, but about what she said. 
She wants to bring the drama and entertainment. So that is good for the viewers. And a lot of you people watch this right now are probably saying, yeah, that's awesome. You know, don't, don't shut that down. I'm talking as a player, okay? I'm not talking as an entertainer. For me, it's like these people go in to win the show. That's what they need to win the show. If you're in there to bring the drama and entertainment, you're definitely lowering your chances to win, okay? That's just the way it is. If you're bringing drama and entertainment and you're not focusing on the players and what you need to do and your next steps ahead and, and putting your focus that way, there's a very low chance of you to win, okay? A lot of times these entertainers do not win. It happens, but no. But the more, the more times than not, the people that are focusing on the game will win. So I don't like that part where she says she's there to bring the drama and the entertainment. To me, that means she's looking for followers and not the prize of winning the game. I could be very wrong, but um, I hope I'm wrong because I actually do have a lot of high hopes for her. I think she has a really good personality. Uh, she seems very easygoing and funny and stuff like that. I like that side of her. Again, she could be just saying this in the interview and then when she goes in the house, she has a completely different game plan. But... Everything on paper looks good up until she says she wants to bring the drama and entertainment because that usually gets you in the mid in the mix and in the middle of problems and drama and eventually getting targeted. So hopefully uh, she does well. I think she's uh, great. Um, other than the bring the drama and entertainment part, I thought everything was great. So she said everything really really well. Other than and uh, being the center of attention, but uh, yeah, that's J J C Lynn. Uh, I think she's going to be okay. I think she can be okay as long as she can kind of keep the attention off of her, which is something she says she doesn't want to do. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Next up is Jay. Uh, they go by they, them pronouns. Um, they're indigenous pole dancer. They want to be the mastermind of the house. Here's the thing with that. Okay. You want to be, that's one thing everybody wants to be. Are you going to be? That's the big difference. Um, that's always the hard part. Everyone, like I say, everyone goes in thinking they're going to be the best social player or strategic player or competitive player. But then you go in the house and you have to go face to face with everybody else that has a similar goal to win the show as you do. So it's easy to say this when you're sitting there at home. Once you're in the house, everything kind of changes. Um, okay. This is, this is the part, you know, um, Listen, I think I think Jay has a very, very, very good personality, very bubbly, very outgoing, very likable. But here's the thing. When asked about, about their strategy, um, Jay says uh, they're gonna pet and scratch everybody, treat them, treat them like like their like their cat. So Jay's gonna treat the house guests like their cat and scratch and pet everyone. I'm sure he's joking, but I don't see the gameplay here, you know, especially for someone that says they want to be the mastermind. I don't see the gameplay here. I, I see a lot of, um, like looking for maybe social media attention after, you know, getting the followers. Uh, it's, you know, not a dig. I just, I want more. I want to know more about the gameplay and Jay just did not give that, uh, clashes with fake people and people who can't be honest, my friend, I don't know what you know. I don't know what you're signing up for, but this is Big Brother. Big Brother is full of fakeness. Big Brother is full of lying. Big Brother is full of of telling you what you need to hear. That's literally the show. So uh, that's the problem to me. It's like I don't know if if Jay knows what show they're getting on, uh, because that is literally the entire concept of the show. And um, no showmance, but a makeout mance um, or. Um, uh, I don't know, whatever it was, a uh, makeout man. So there was another thing that they said, but here's the thing. I think Jay has a good personality. I think, uh, I think Jay's going to be likable. I just, I, I don't see the gameplay. And again, this is what the video is about is the gameplay. And when you say that your strategy is going to treat people like your cat and pet and scratch them, I mean, uh, that doesn't do it for me personally, but, uh, I, I can't wait to see what Jay does in the house. That's for sure. All right, so here we are. We are now talking about Jessica. Now, I actually, I got to be honest with you. I actually do know Jessica. Uh, Jessica hangs out on my Twitch stream quite a bit. We've talked quite a bit. Um, and I actually did a BB Can, I think, 3 and 5 watch party in my stream. And Jessica was there for all of it. I'm sure they were taking notes. And uh, I am absolutely 100% a Jessica stand this season. I'm I've never stand anybody ever in Big Brother. That's just not my style. But Jessica, I am an absolute stand. I am 100% in your corner, uh, cheering for you. And uh, I really, really, really hope. 
uh, sheet as well. So um, Jessica goes by she, they. Uh, Jessica is a super fan. Uh, she's very fluid and flexible. That's going to be her strategy, be fluid and flexible. She's been taking notes for sure. Uh, I noticed some of the things that she said in um, in her bio was uh, things that you know I've talked about and stuff. Now, I'm not saying she's taken her whole game off of me. I'm not saying that, but um, I'm sure um, that Jessica did take some notes along the way and kind of, you know, um, Jessica's a very, very smart person. So I have a lot of faith. I have a lot of faith that uh, she's going to do well. So um, uh, she says she'd be a very good uh, social player. She's not very physical, but she's mentally superior. She's very smart. And, and I know that for a fact. I believe she, we, uh, so we play Jackbox. It's like a, a trivia game in the, in the stream. And I'm pretty sure Jessica's beaten me, which doesn't say too much, I guess, right? But um, she has beaten me before. Um, okay, here's the thing. And this is what I love to hear because I say this all the time. I've already even said it in this video. And uh, I've definitely had this conversation when Jessica was in my stream that uh, she says you can make all the strats and plans you want. But you got it. When you go in the house, it can all change. I love the fact that she listened to that and and understands that because a lot of people forget that when they when they're going for the show they they talk about I'm going to do this I'm going to do that I'm going to you know I'm going to I have this strategy week 1 I'm going to do this week 2 I'm going to do this week 3 I'm going to do this Jessica understands you can have a plan going in or not a plan but ideas of what you want to do but when you get in there you're going to have to adjust accordingly and it's okay maybe this won't work where some people get stuck in their ways and it's like this is how i'm gonna play i'm gonna bulldoze through i'm gonna win whatever whatever it is okay but jessica understands that no no you got to adapt and i love that um she says she's gonna adapt in the moment no man's here's the thing okay so jessica didn't give a lot of strategy um, in, in the video. Okay. And, and if I didn't know Jessica, it would be hard for me to kind of judge her gameplay off of the video. Okay. But because I know what type of person Jessica is, uh, she's very positive, very bubbly, very nice. I feel like she's going to be able to get along with people. I hope anyway, I hope the pressure doesn't get to her. I hope the environment doesn't get, uh, get to Jessica. I hope, I hope, um, I hope she does. Okay. So I'm 100% cheering for her. Um, I know, like I said, when I did these watch parties, uh, Jessica was absolutely in the stream watching. She even would say, yo, can we watch an episode of Big Brother tonight? So we did, a, we did. Uh, I think we watched both seasons, three and five. And uh, she would always be like, can we watch an episode of Big Brother tonight? Can we watch another one? Let's watch two or three episodes tonight. So, and I would give my commentary going through. Again, I don't know everything and I don't claim to know everything. But what one thing I can do is I can literally, as we're watching the videos and she's watching, I can break down what was happening, what my thought process was, what was really going on behind the scenes, how it played out. And it can give you an idea of what the situation was like. And maybe give you an idea. If you fall in a similar situation, these are kind of things to look out for. So I hope, I hope, I hope Jessica does well. Um, I personally, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not know um, that she was even in the running. She told me she was auditioning for the show. Never told me she even made it past round one or round two or in the finals or made it. None of that. So I had no information. I want to be very, very, very clear. I kind of wish... That she told me because I could have helped her out a little bit. Maybe, you know, give her a few pointers or whatever. But uh, I'm sure she's going to do great. And I'm super, super, super excited. Uh, Jessica, not only am I in your corner, the entire stream is in your corner. We're super excited to watch you play. And uh, I, I couldn't be happier. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, again, I've never had somebody that I know on the show uh, personally, so this is very, very, very exciting for me, and I am 100% a Jessica Stan uh, to the end. So, congratulations for getting on, and uh, we're all excited. The entire stream community, we're all excited and in your corner. So, good luck. All right, next is Josh. So, here we go. We got Josh, uh, Dr. Josh, Dr. Josh, my bad. Dr. Josh, he's a pediatric uh, resident at 28 years old, which is kind of you know impressive. He's still kind of young. Um, you know, that's impressive. So he seems like he's a smart guy. He's, he's definitely got some, uh, some, some smarts for sure. Um, he says he's the first doctor of BB can. That is false. Uh, Neha, I know Neha right now has got something to say for sure. Uh, Neha is the first doctor on BB can. So Dr. Josh, I'm sorry, buddy, but no, uh, you're not. Um, okay. So his strategy, this was like kind of like a long winded answer. 
uh, he's talking about competitions, but I don't even know if he said he wanted to win them or not. He kind of just was talking, you know, moving left and right. I don't know. Um, I think he wants to win competitions. I don't even know what I got out of that. I don't know what I got out of that. I think he wants to win competitions. Uh, and he says he's going to use his charm. Here's the thing. He seems like a very likable guy. Uh, you know, he definitely seems to, to be, uh, easy to talk to, you know what I mean? He's like, he's got the, he's easy to talk to welcoming. I like that. Seems like a very, very, very nice guy. Uh, I want to say that seems like a very nice guy. He uh, says he's going to clash with people who are disrespectful. This is big brother. You're obviously going to get a few people in there, but that's on purpose. They don't want everybody getting along. They always put those, uh, kind of like those loud people in there to kind of disrupt the, you know, the balance, you know? Uh, he says he doesn't get mad. He gets petty. I mean, that's whatever. I mean, that's that's fine. Uh, he's not confrontational, uh, which is fine as well. That's actually kind of good in the Big Brother house. You don't want to cause too many problems because if you're confrontational, again, like I mentioned before, people will take that. If you if you you know yell at someone, you get in a big fight or whatever. The other people on the outside will actually take that and use that at their advantage, and they're going to put the focus on you guys, fuel that fight, fuel that fire, keep the targets on you guys, and they kind of sit in the back and that's that's just a common strategy in big brother uh no man's he's been in a relationship for two years he's very happy that's good to hear uh says he's clumsy and goofy i like that you know i like people that don't take things too serious i like that personally to be honest with you so that is a, a thing i like uh, but then he says he's going to be respectful and honest i mean obviously it's good to be respectful but he says he's going to be respectful and honest again this is big brother. You can't be honest. People are going to ask you questions to kind of put you off balance. People are going to ask you questions to put you on your heels and you got to be able to answer quick. You got to be able to give them what they need to hear and you got to be on your toes all the time. And people are going to always try to put you on your heels, but you always got to be on your toes. If you're, if you're too honest and, and stuff like that, that's when you get caught in these lies and, and you get yourself into trouble. So I, I hope he adapts when he gets in there to kind of be like, yo, listen, man, it's big brother. I, I got, I gotta, I gotta bend the truth. I gotta bend the truth to keep myself safe. So I don't see that hunger in him to like, you know, do, do the, the moves he's going to need to win, but he seems like a really nice guy. So, uh, I hope he does well. I don't see that winning fire in him. You know what I mean? And that's, that's, uh, that's just the truth. But, but Josh seems like a really, really, really good guy. And, uh, actually he's one of the ones I'm really excited to meet after the show, to be very honest. Okay. Next up is Kevin Jacobs. Holy, f wow, okay, um, all right, holy shit, I'm going to break it down, man, this guy is, uh, he is the exact, when you think of, like, when you think of, like, BB Twitter and how they think they, you know, when you, th when you, th <laughs> when you think of the person that thinks they know this stuff in and out, man, this is it, this is literally, this is the poster child for the exact super fan that thinks this is easy, they're going to go in and absolutely destroy the game. This guy's pre-jury. This this guy is... <laughs> All right, let's, let's hear his resume. Let's see. You know what? This guy, listen. I'm sure you're a nice guy. Maybe. I don't know. Not humble. Horrible in there. Nobody's going to like you. People are going to want to take you out. Says he has the high IQ, thinks he's the smartest thing out there. Buddy, you're wrong. Says he's going to be the villain of the season. When you go in there, buddy, I guarantee you, you're going to cat, you're going to turtle up and you're not going to be the villain. You can say that right now because you're going in right now. You're in the comfort of your own home. You're hyping yourself up. You're your biggest hype man. Clearly you're going to go in the house. You're going to see the people that are in there. You're going to be like, yo, wait, wait a minute, man. Uh, you have to re you're going to have to reevaluate yourself in there, buddy. You're not the villain. Uh, you're probably not going to be in there long enough to be the villain, to be honest. Uh, says he knows everything false. Um, Clash with a lot of people. That's a great trait to have in the house, man. Not being able to get along with people. Uh, this is big brother. That's going to work well for you. No man's going to pretend he's married. Listen, there's not a lot to say about this guy. To be honest with you, man, this guy is literally the, <laughs> the exact opposite of what you want to be as a big brother player. I hope right now he is just playing this act right now in front of the camera, trying to, you know, play up this part. And then when he goes in the house, we're going to see the real him. But if he plays everything, anything like what he says here uh, this guy, we'll be talking to him in a couple of weeks like this guy is literally when i say don't do this like when i say the worst things you can do in the house this this is it like watch this video and do the opposite this guy is uh i mean he's calling himself the villain not gonna happen uh not humble 
People don't like that. He has no social. You could tell he doesn't have social awareness. And that's big in there. Uh, he doesn't have social awareness. He's very high on himself. Uh, he's talking about he doesn't like people that you know live at home or whatever. Guess what, buddy? About 90% of the Big Brother community live at home, okay? I'm going to give you a little heads up. So, uh, yeah, you, you're you in for a treat, buddy. You're in for a treat. I don't think this guy is going to be able to get along with people. Maybe he can find himself lucky and squeeze into a group. They'll use him as a number, kind of carry him deep. But uh, I, I feel like this guy's just going to rub too many people the wrong way. He's probably going to creep some people out. And uh, I don't see this guy doing anything that he says he's going to do. Uh, this guy is, and I'm listen. I, I I know I'm being a little harsh here. I'm sure he's all right. Uh, you know, I always talk about in the game, his strategy going in is absolutely horrendous. Uh, I'm sure on the outside he's a nice guy, and this has happened before where there was people on their bios. I was like, yo, listen, like this guy, not a chance. Most of the time I was right, but after the season we get talking, and it's like, yo, I actually like this guy. We get along, and you know now I, you know I play games with them or whatever. You know they're buddies of mine. So I'm not saying I'm I don't like the guy. It's the character, the player uh, going in the house, and I'm trying to talk about how it's um, Big Brother related. Nothing is ever personal. Like nothing is ever personal in these videos. I'm talking about everything he said, putting it, taking that, putting it in the Big Brother house. Um, I know from from experience. That strategy he's saying does not work. Maybe it works this season with the people that are in there. I highly doubt it. But I feel like this guy is either not going to do what he says he's going to do and he's going to kind of just be there and maybe use it as a number or uh, he's out too fast and, and uh, you know, we don't even get to see any of this stuff play out. But going when you go and you say you're going to go in as the villain, that usually doesn't happen. It's just a, a persona that you're trying to play up. And then when you go in the house and you're face-to-face -face with everybody in there and you're going okay, wait a minute, like now you're face to face with your opponents, you actually have to like talk to them and you see people building relationships and you're on the outside, then you feel like you're like, oh, I have nobody, then you're the easy target. Like this is completely the wrong way to go into the house with that mentality. I, I, you know, he's going to have to humble himself before he gets in there because, you know, that's just the way it is. I mean, it is what it is. All right. Anyway, that's uh, whatever, Kevin, doesn't matter. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now we have Kyle more man this okay this story this story if you guys don't know what happened this is funny this is actually kind of funny I, I have two i have i have i have some thoughts on this okay this is kind of funny so kyle moore if you guys know on season nine kyle moore got on the show because he replaced uh, another guy and that guy whatever don't worry about him and uh well what happened was this guy's name is kyle moore people thought it was this guy his twitter starts blowing up he has no idea what's going on and he wakes up to like thousands of messages and he's just like what is going on like what, what is this you know he's just uh, minding his business at home anyway he didn't get on the show here's a here's the thing i don't there's two things i okay i don't like that they put him on the show kind of as a gimmick you know I, I, but but i do feel like he's a really good speaker he's a really good talker he's a very like he has that magnetism so I like that. I like that there's a little bit of a story to it. I don't like how they put him on as kind of like a gimmick. I feel like they're going to give him a lot of uh, airtime. I feel like this guy already is going to be the narrator. Like he's going to be the golden boy of this season. I can kind of see it a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. But Big Brother knows what they did with this guy, okay? He was mistaken as a house guest last year. They're going to put him. And then the house guests were all going through his podcast. And, and you know, then it was the other Kyle Moore. And then they're like, oh, but I like this Kyle Moore. So... The Twitter fandom already kind of got attached to him and he wasn't even a house guest, okay? So by putting him on the show, Big Brother knows that Twitter's behind this guy because they feel like they already know him. You know what I mean? It's like it's like when your friend goes on the show. Now, he's not their friend, but they know him a little bit because, you know, they've interacted with him or whatever, okay? So they put him on the show kind of as a, like a little gimmick having Twitter. They're going to be backing this guy up big time. He's going to have a lot of love from Twitter, which is fine, but... Here's the other side to that, okay? You're going to have super fans in this house. Jessica's a super fan. The Whatever the guy was I just talked about, I already forget his name. That guy says he's a super fan. There's probably more, okay? They're going to know who he is. So there's two sides to this coin. One, um, you know, it's a funny story. But two, if anybody in the house is smart, they're going to be like, wait a minute. 
I know this guy. Maybe it helps them. Maybe it it bridges them together, makes a connection. Maybe it helps. A, maybe it helps this Kyle guy out a little bit because you're gonna be like, "Hey, I know you." You know what I mean? When they don't, but they're gonna think like they do, and it's gonna help build him some relationships and some, you know, maybe get him in some alliances. Maybe not get targeted, or it could go the other way where people are like, "Yo, this guy." maybe has a love of Twitter. And if you're in the house and you realize that sometimes you got to get rid of them because if there's a public vote, guess who's going to get the votes, this guy. So there's two sides to it. And I don't know how I feel about it, but I will say this. Okay. I don't know who, I don't know. I didn't, you know, I didn't keep up with that stuff. I didn't really care about it to be honest with you, but I will say this. Okay. About this guy. I love what I see in this. I absolutely love what I saw in his bio videos. He's a very good speaker. He seems very genuine. He seems very, uh, like he has that magnetism to it. And that's just something I can't explain unless you're in the house. When there's someone that really draws you to them and makes you like, hey, trust me. Like you really trust those people. Um, that, that does wonders in the house. And he has that. He has a beautiful smile. He's a good looking guy. Um, you know, he's very, uh, you know, he's, he's confident, but not cocky. He's a very good speaker. Um, you know, I just, I like him. I really, really like, him. he seems very athletic. You saw him rock climbing and stuff, uh, doing the bike. Like I actually really like this guy. I really like this guy. And I think, uh, he has an actual shot at winning again. I don't like that. There's going to be that Twitter influence already because if there's any votes, you know, it's going to go to this guy. I don't like that. Um, I feel again, I feel like he's going to be the poster boy of the season. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but Big Brother, know, they watch Twitter and they know who Twitter's cheering for and stuff. And they know that you guys are behind this guy. Um, he's, yeah, but anyway, he's, uh, I like how he says he's very open-minded. I love what he does with the mental health stuff. The guy seems like a really good guy. Like a really, really good guy. And if and I'll tell you right now, man, this is actually one of the people I am cheering for. I am 100% just Stan. I, got, I stand by, I'm that kind of guy. If I got you, I got you. Jess, I got you. But this guy here... Is a close second. I will tell you right now. I really, uh, I do like his personality, but uh, again, I don't like how I think he made it on the show. I think, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. This is this, something's not right there. But again, I think he did a really good job, and I and I, I wish him well. And I, I do like this guy, and I will be cheering for. Him. I hope he'll do well. I think he's gonna fit in all the groups. Like I said, he's very social, very approachable. Uh, seems very smart, good speaker, charming. Uh, you know, I, I like that. He, he checks all the boxes. I mean, to me, this guy checks all the boxes and, uh, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing him play. So good luck to you, Kyle. Uh, Kyle 2.0, I guess. I mean, it's wild, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm actually excited to see him play. All right. Now we have Marty. So I'm actually really excited for Marty. He's the older guy. He's pretty funny. Um, I, I like him. I like him. I like him. There's things I like. There's things I don't like. There's things that I think he's going to do well in. I think there's going to be things that are problematic. Uh, okay, so let's talk about Marty. He's funny. He's very simple, he says. Uh, you know, he cracked a couple of dad jokes. He said a couple of things in there were pretty funny. I like the whole uh, the fort joke. That was pretty funny. Um, he likes to have fun. He's a triple-A hockey coach. So this guy is a leader. He knows how to, like, kind of you know, uh, gather people around, but that can also work against you. Usually when people are like the coach, they're used to being the boss. They're used to be, they're used to telling people what to do drills or whatever plays. And they, they, and those people listen when you're in the house, you're not the coach. Sometimes the coaches have that, co that coach mentality that can work against them because they're so used to telling people what to do and having them do it. Well here, this is big brother. So I could see that being a little bit of a problem. Maybe not. Uh, he's a fraud investigator. So he's good at, at reading people, which I think is very, 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 good uh that's a stat and a and a and a a characteristic that's very very good in the house if you can if you're really good at reading people and seeing how people are fake and stuff that is a very good thing uh to have in your belt will it really benefit him eh who knows um okay he's older I think he's the oldest in the house, I believe. Uh, he's very fit. He says he's very, very fit. He does look fit. And actually, on in the video, it showed him a clip. It showed a clip of him riding the bike, watching the the um, uh, Big Brother Canada videos on his phone. That's what I did when I always go to the gym. So I'd go to the gym every single day, and I'd watch an episode while I'm on the bike. That's how. So whenever the episode would end, that's when I'd get off the bike, and then I'd I'd go on the elliptical. I'd watch another episode. So every. Um, I'd watch an episode per station I was in. So on the bike, watch an episode, go to the elliptical, watch an episode, episode, and then I would do laps in the, in the pool for like an hour or whatever. That's how I got in shape when I went on the show. So I like that because I can relate to that a little bit as well. 
Uh, he says he's a Big Brother fan, super fan. That is good. Sometimes it works for you. Sometimes it works against you. Uh, only time will tell. He's very social. That's what everybody says. Everyone always says they're very, very social. He does seem very so social. Um, so I give him that. But again, time will tell how he fits in in the house. Here's where I have a little bit of, of a problem. He says he's a comp beast and he's going to win every competition. It's always good to hear that, you know, that they they have that drive. But one, can he win all the competitions? Probably not. Is he going to win all the competitions? Probably not. The problem is when you're uh, a competitive, when you're very competitive in the house and you're trying to win everything, but you come in second or third, or maybe you win one here and then, you, you know, you're second in the next one. People see you as a threat because they're like, you know what? We're going to have to take this person out while we can. If this person's coming second or third every competition, but not winning them, or they're winning every competition and they lose one, it's like you, people see that as a threat. Okay. So usually the people that try to win every single competition, usually, you know, you know, they don't do too well usually because people are like, yo, we got to get rid of them while we can. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, he doesn't like fake people. I understand what they mean by that. Like when he says, you know, I don't like fake people, but this is big brother. Everyone's fake. Uh, I want to say fake, but they're not going to be open with you. And they're going to tell you things you want to know and stuff like that. So that's one thing. I mean, I get it. You don't like fake people who does, but in the house, you know, everyone's going to be fake. So anyway, this is Martin. I like him. I think he's going to be funny and goofy. You know, I like that stuff, man. I don't think he's going to take it too serious. I hope not anyway. I like this guy, and I think he's going to be really funny and really fun to watch. Um, he's up there for me. He's up there for me. I think he's uh, smart. I think he's fit. I think he understands the game, and I think he understands he's going to entertain people and make them laugh. I just hope he can find a group to fit in because usually when you're the older person, you know, you don't – it's hard to fit in because you don't have the same things to talk to as these 20-year-olds like, and stuff. You know what I mean? You're at different parts in your life. So hopefully he can find somewhere to fit in and uh, make it far. If not, he might go home early simply because, you know, how it is the older person usually gets – evicted early on so i hope he doesn't and i hope he uh he does well so yeah this is marty and i, and I like him i like him all right now we have melina is that how you say that melina uh first i want to say she seems really 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 cool uh someone like i would hang out with in real life you know what i mean she seems really easy uh easy going like just chill uh super fun you know what i mean these videos, man, I didn't get anything from it. Like I got nothing, nothing from it. Uh, game wise, you know, I watched both her bio videos and, uh, basically just says, uh, everything annoys her, which is not good. You know, she literally named 150 things. That's not good. Cause in that house, uh, everything's amplified. Okay. So if little things bother you, they become big things. Trust me. Um, that's hopefully she's just saying that messing around joking around but uh that's not a good thing uh she seems super super cool like i said um like super super cool to hang out with but i'm just going on a, on a game basis again i'm not you know this is nothing personal um this is strictly game and what i saw of the bio of of what she plans on doing in the house that's that's basically what i'm going on this um she wants to find someone split the house and rule the house Again, that's a lot easier said than done. That's a plan that you can just say, yep, I'm going to go in. This is what I'm going to do. This is going to happen. Week one, we're going to do this. Week two, we're going to do this. Week three, week four, week five. And then, you know, we're going to win the game. It doesn't work that way, you know? Yeah, you might find your someone in the house and your friends, but are you going to be able to control everybody? That's a different story. So here's the thing. You know, um, I don't know if she's watched the show. I, she didn't mention anything about the show. I don't know if she even knows what it's about. Um, I don't know if she was recruited. I have no idea. And there's no disrespect to her whatsoever. Again, I think she's, she seems amazing. She seems fun. She seems very, very cool. Someone I would love to hang out with. But on a game level, I got to keep it honest. I didn't see anything in the bios. Hopefully, when she gets in the house, she kind of just steps it up and, and does something. But I can only go by what she says in the bios. And again, she didn't talk anything about the game other than finding someone, split the house, and rule the house. Again, very easy to say, a lot harder to do. So, um, not much to say on her. Um, again, I can't wait to, to, to meet her. She's in Toronto. I go down to Toronto all the time to hang out with the Toronto people. So I'm sure we'll meet. I'm sure we'll hang out and, uh, I hope you do well. So good luck. All right, here we have Moose. Okay. So I got to say, I think this guy is awesome. I think he's pretty cool. Uh, seems very genuine, very nice, uh, outgoing, funny. I like that. I like that about him. He seems like a very, very, very chill guy. Very, very cool guy. Um, love sports, very athletic. 
uh, which is important, obviously, for competitions. Maybe you can pair up with a few people, uh, make friends that way. He's very charming. Um, here's the thing. He's outgoing and loud. Um, here's the thing in the house, which is a good thing. And listen, in the real world, being outgoing and loud is great. It's awesome. But when you're going in there with, with different personalities and, and, uh, sometimes being loud and, and, and stuff like that could work against you. People can get frustrated. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I think it's a phenomenal thing. I think it's a really good thing when you're outgoing, you're loud, you're, you're, you're having fun. But I always talk about it in an in-game aspect when you're sometimes too loud, too over the top, and you're always trying to like entertain and stuff. It can get annoying in the house. I'm telling you firsthand. Um, it happens. People get frustrated by it and annoyed by it. And there's not everyone's happy in there 24 hours a day. There's a lot of downtime. There's a lot of crankiness. There's a lot of people that are hungry. There's people that are bored. There's people that are looking for fights. People that are looking for arguments. That is a day-to-day -day life in the Big Brother house. So um, I think his personality is phenomenal. I think he's super, super cool. But it's like when you're always loud and outgoing, there's there's always a chance that someone in there is going to try to pick that fight, put the target on you. So that's why sometimes it's the laid back people, the chill people that get a little farther because they're kind of just like minding their business. I'm not saying that's the right way to play or the wrong way to play. I'm just pointing out the points um, for that. But like I say, I think this guy seems pretty awesome. Don't really get much of the uh, game aspect. I don't know if he's a fan of the show. The only thing he says is he wants to find one or two people and go all the way to the end, which is a good strategy. I, I personally think when you get a tight circle like that, I'd say circle, triangle, whatever, two, three people, and uh, you, those are the tighter alliances. When you have six, seven people, yes, it's good for the numbers, but there's too many people making too many decisions. Too many people want to pull enough, uh, pull the decisions for, to benefit them, causes cracks in the alliance, causes problems. So yes, when you have six, seven people, it's good for the numbers, but when you have one or two tight people uh, on your side that you're tight, you work together, those are the best. Those are the tight groups that can actually push forward together. So he has the right idea where he says, I want to find one or two people and just go with it. I love like that he says he's genuine and positive i like that as well a lot of positives for the guy on a personal level i think this guy is awesome on a personal level let's get to the game which i always like to talk about you know how i keep it um i don't know i don't know what his strategy is like you know uh, personality can only take you so far in a game you gotta have a game i don't know if he has that hunger in the game i don't know if he has that game sense uh you know to like cut people or do something i don't know i don't know uh of these off these bios but on a personal level, this guy is cool. Uh, in a game level, I, I don't know. I don't see it there. I don't see him as like this great player or making these crazy choices or things like that. I don't see it. Time will tell. But Moose seems like a cool cat, man. I like him. But uh, yeah, don't know. Don't know game-wise. Don't know game-wise. All right. Now we have Steph. Now, here's the thing, man. This one's tough for me. This one's tough for me because I actually do know Steph. I, I do know Steph. Um, I've known her since season three. She's auditioned for, I don't know, four five, six seasons. She's, she's auditioned quite a bit of times for the show. Uh, I think it was like season six or something, maybe season seven. Um, I was helping her through her auditions. I think she got to like the finals or semifinals or something. I don't remember. Um, I know her. And, uh, here's the thing, man. I don't know if this whole thing is an act. I don't know her like super well. I know her. I know her. I don't know her super, super well. Uh, but, um, Here's the thing, man. I don't know if this is an act. I hope it is because, you know, I know this. I like Steph. She's a really nice girl, but I, I, I really hope this is an act because if she goes in the house like that, I don't know how long she's going to last. I think just the conceitedness and I'm going to have all the guys in my hand. I mean, she's a very pretty girl. She's a very, very, very pretty girl. That's a very obvious. Uh, but um, the thing is, man, when people are there to play the game, uh, they're going to look past her beauty and there's got to be more to it. Okay. Now there's people that are, that go in the house that aren't there to play the game. Sure. They're going to fall for that. They're going to want to be, you know, they're going to fall for her. Absolutely. But if there's anybody there that's there to play the game and not there for, you know, a beautiful face or whatever, um, they're, they're, that's not going to work on them. That's not going to work on them. That charm, the looks, it's not going to work. So if your entire game plan is to go in and just be beautiful, that can only take you so far. You have to have a game plan. You got to be more than that. And again, like I say, I hope, I hope, I hope she's not, that's her entire game plan. I hope it's not just her going in and being beautiful uh, because that's not going to work. You know, as a matter of fact, I might work against you because people could see through that. If you go in here like I'm beautiful and I'm this and I'm the best and I'm, a, you know, people aren't going to put up with that. Not in the big brother house. In the real world, you can get away with it. Sure. In the big brother house, you won't. 
Um, this is hard for me to say, man, because I, you know, I do like Steph. I think she's a really nice girl on the outside world. You know, we have talked, but, uh, you know, uh, for that to be a strategy to go in, I just, I can't, you know, I got to keep it honest here because I, I, I don't want, just because I know her, I don't want to give her a pass. Um, I, 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 you know what? The whole, the whole bio was about partying, uh, her being beautiful. She said yes to a showman. I wanted to hear more about the game. Didn't get any of that. And it's a shame, man, because I really wanted to, to you know, you guys to see what Steph is about. Hopefully when she goes in the house, it's different. Um, but if she goes in, like, again, with the beautiful stuff, unless she finds herself in a majority alliance, we might see her pre-jury, uh, which would suck, which would suck because uh, she's been trying for years and she really wants this. Like, this is a dream for her. So um, I am cheering for her. I am cheering for her. But uh, I, like I said, I just hope she has more than just going off of, of more than just the looks. Uh, which I thought, you know, over when we talked over the, the years about her auditions and stuff, I thought it would be more than that. But uh, time will tell. Time will tell. So anyway, that is Steph. Um, I, I hope she brings more than just her looks. Because, again, that will only take you so far in the house. All right, now we are on to Steven. Listen, man, I like this guy. I got to say, I like this guy, man. I think he's smooth. He's First of all, he's in really, really, really good shape. He understands the game. I can tell already this man understands the game, okay? Just the one thing he said when he says he's going to go in, okay? He's going to assess the house. He's going to figure out who his competition is, who the weaker players are, and then he's going to go from there. That is the right answer. On paper, that's the right answer, okay? And, you, and I talk about this all the time. People always come in and say, I'm going to go in. I'm going to do this. Week one, I'm going to win. Week two, I'm going to put these. You can't decide that. You don't know yet. You don't know who's in the house. So the fact that this guy comes in and is interviewing, he says, listen, man, you know, I'm going to go in. I'm going to see who's there. I'm going to figure everything out. I'm going to assess the house. Okay, this guy's strong. This girl's strong. This is here. This is that. This whatever. And then I'm going to make a plan. That I like. On paper, this guy's got it. He's a good-looking guy. He's ripped. Um, we just talked about Steph. Uh, I could see like Steph liking this guy. I could see this guy liking Steph. Here's the problem. Is this guy here to play or is he trying to find love? He's a very, very good-looking guy. He's shredded. You know, He's a fire uh, firefighter, all that stuff. And, um, the girls are going to, I, I mean, I, I assume the girls are going to love him, you know? Um, here's the thing, man. If he's there to play, I think this guy, uh, can be dangerous. The other thing he said though, he's like, uh, he doesn't like, here's, here's the negatives on this guy. Okay. He doesn't like toxic negative people. You're going to get that in there. He doesn't like people that complains. Trust me. You're going to get that in there. People are going to complain all the time about everything because there's nothing to do. And there's a lot of things to complain about. Trust me. People are going to complain in there. And then he says, he's a straight up guy. He's, he's going to just say it to your face. If you got something to say, he's going to say it. That's problematic too. Great for TV, problematic for your game. So you don't like negative toxic people. And people that complain, you're going to hear that a lot in there, I promise. And he's straight up and he's going to confront people. That doesn't work that well in that case. Um, he's also a bigger guy. He's jacked. People might find that threatening and want to get him out. So he does have a few things working against him, but he has a lot of things working for him where you can tell he's a very smooth guy, uh, good talker, um, athletic. He wants a showman's. Um, I liked it. Like I said, I liked what he said about assessing the house. I think that was really, really, really good, really clever. Um, I agree with that. You don't know what you're getting into when you go to the house. You can't say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You, you got to figure out who's there. Who's your competition. Uh, understand people, see how they tick a little bit, see how they work. And then, okay. Yeah. I got to get rid of this person because of whatever reason. Right? So, um, a lot of things he said was nice. But a lot of the things he said wasn't good. So it just depends on what Steven we get, you know. But I like this guy. I do. I think he's uh I think this guy has a lot of potential if he can keep his head in the game and uh and uh and stick to what he says. I think he's I think this guy can be really good. Again, if he focuses on the game and nothing else. But time will tell. Time will tell. All right, now we are on to summer. Okay, so here's the thing. She has two bio videos, just like everybody else has two bio videos. I watch both of them. The first one I watched was like, the, I guess that home one. I got to say, I wasn't like a major fan when I saw that one. I was like, okay, she's just going to, you know, cause the drama. You guys know already that I'm here for the, the gameplay. I'm not a big fan of like drama and stuff. This is not my thing, which is fine. I mean, there's a lot of people that love it and there's a lot of people that watch it for that. And that's totally fine. It's the beauty of this game. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you watch it for, that's great. For me personally, I watch it for the gameplay. 
So in that video, she was just talking about how she's just like super petty, um, thinks the game's gonna be super easy, blah, blah, blah. And it just didn't give me any like gameplay vibes, right? Well, then I watched the second one, the one that she did, I guess, with ET Canada, and it was completely different. I was like, yes, this is, this girl's got it. She said the best strategy, and if you guys have ever watched my like how to play Big Brother videos or tips, anything like that, again, I'm not perfect. I'm not the, you know, I, I don't think I know it all by any means, okay? But I do give tips. And one of the things I say is you can't go in the house with a strategy. The best strategy is to go in without a strategy and then you figure it out while you're there. I don't want to say go in, you know, just totally uh, empty without a thought in your head. Have ideas, but you can't like stick to one strategy. I've said it many times already in this video. So I like that you said the best strategy is going in with no strategy. I love that. I've literally said that in my videos. So it really turned me around. The first video I was like, okay, she's just going to be here to, you know, maybe she wants Instagram followers. I don't know. But she said she only auditioned because some, some girl or something, uh, she didn't like, likes the show. So she wanted to get on it. And it's like, okay, like that to me, like, you know, she's here for the wrong reasons. But then again, I watched the other video and I'm like, okay, maybe I, I got it wrong. So I actually like, I like summer. I like, I like what, what she said in the other video so basically she says the best strat is no strat i love that uh she said that god herself and Arissa come first um which i thought was kind of funny uh she threw Arissa in there but then she just kept talking about Arissa. you know this is supposed to be your moment it's supposed to be about you uh you have what a minute and a half don't spend 45 seconds talking about Arissa. we want to get to know you but it was funny i give her that it was funny it was funny um she doesn't like people who run their mouths 24 7 uh this is big brother this is big brother. Uh, you're going to get that a lot. I got to tell you, man, I like summer. I, I like summer, man. I, I, I like, I like her. I like her. There's something about her. I like her. Um, depends which one we get. If we get the, uh, the, the petty summer, that's just there to entertain. You know, I'm not there for that. That's, you know, but if we get the summer that's going in, you know, thinking, okay, I'm going in without a strategy. I'm going to figure it out while I get there. Um, I like that. I really like that. So I'm, I'm actually here for summer, man. I like her. I like summer. I like summer. Uh, I hope she does well. I don't know how well she's going to do. I don't know if she's going to be able to keep um, you know, her emotions in check. I don't know. We Again, we watched a, a minute and a half video. But I liked what I saw. If she can kind of keep her cool. She seems very outgoing, very cool. Again, someone I'd love to chill with uh, after the show. Uh, but that's again, the personal side. I always try to keep it on a game level and I just hope she can keep things in check. She's, I don't know if she's going to be able to, uh, but I don't know, man, I'm here for it. I mean, I'm here for it. this thing about summer. I like it, but I don't think she's going to be able to keep her emotions in check, uh, to be honest, but I'm here for it. I'm here for it. All right. So now we've got Tanisha. Okay. So she has a positive attitude, but she says she may be annoying. Uh, she's a single mother. Uh, which is tough, you know, that'd be very, very, very tough. So, um, yeah, I got to give her a lot of props for that. Being a single mother, uh, would be tough, man. That'd be really tough. So, you know, she's tough. She's used to having her hands full seven year old. I have a seven year old myself and, uh, yeah, it's a busy age. That's a busy age. So to do it yourself, a lot of respect. Um, she wants to be the mama bear of the house. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I feel about that. Usually the ones that try to be the mama bear, um, usually they're kind of either used as a number. They're on the outskirts. Uh, they're kind of dragged along as far as they need to be. And then they're kind of, you know, they're not really in the group. They're kind of just there. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. She's super nice, by the way. She seems super, like you could tell that's an authentic, really nice down to earth, like genuine person. Uh, the problem is sometimes the big brother house, it eats those people up. Like when you're a really good person in the real world, you're genuine, you know, it, that stuff is great in the real world, but when you get put in that house, sometimes you're getting put in there with sharks and, uh, it just, sometimes it doesn't translate well because you always try to see the best in people or you believe, you know, what people tell you, you take it for what it, I don't know. It's tough, man. I, I, I have, I like her. I think she's like, she seems like super genuine. I don't see the gameplay. That's what I keep trying to, you know, I, I, I want to hear more about the game. I heard a lot about her being a single mother, which is, you know, it's, it's again, you know, it's great to hear that, uh, you know, that it's a great thing. It's a good thing, which she, which she has, but, um, I didn't hear anything about the game. Um, I like her story. Like I like her story, but I, again, I got to keep it. Uh, I got to keep it to, um, the gameplay. 
you know, I got to keep it to the gameplay. Again, I think great story, but for a game player, I don't see anything about the game. Uh, she says she wants to go in and charm everyone. That's what everybody says. Very, very genetic, generic. Everyone thinks, you know, they're going to go in and, and use their charm. There's a lot of people that are very charming. I've said about a couple of the guys, a couple of the girls. Uh, she does seem charming, but is that enough? You know, like some people, they're charming, but they have more to fall back on. If it's just your charm, well, there's a lot of you guys in there that are just there for the charm. Uh, she doesn't like loud people drop that are always in the drama, in the mix. They're always like... Again, big brother. So a lot of the things you're saying you don't like and you're, uh, and you're you know, th that's what you're going to get a lot of. So there's you can already tell there's a lot of, loud, she doesn't like loud people and people that are into drama are always in the mix of the drama. You could see there's already a few people in there that are about that. So that'll take you off your 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 game and your and yourself. I just, I don't know, I don't know where she fits in. I just don't know where she fits in. This is the last one we've seen. We've gone through the entire cast and I'm trying to piece where people fall in, I don't know where she falls in. That's that's the problem. Uh, she says no no mance, no showmance, uh, which is which is great. Again, you know you don't know until you get in there. But uh, anyway, I like her. I like her on a personal level. I think she's actually amazing. That is someone I'd really like in real life. I would really get along with. I always try to keep it on a game level. She just didn't give me enough to talk about. She didn't talk about the game whatsoever. So it's really hard for me to, to critique her on a game level when she didn't even talk about the game at all. So, you know, there's not really much to say about her. But uh, I think she's super cool. I like her. She's a seven-year-old uh, daughter. I believe it was a daughter. I have a seven-year-old son myself. So uh, I know what it's like. And I, I, I tell you right now, man, she's going to, you know, it hits you in there. When you're a parent and you're away from your kid, it hits you in there. Any parent that has been in that house, I mean, you know, you, you see Karen when, on season five, she's like, oh, I'm glad to be away. Of course, her kids are in her 20s. There's a big, big difference. But when you have a young kid, you know, seven years old, I promise you it's going to hit her hard in there. I know from experience, anybody that's had young kids in there can tell you from experience, um, it really, it really hits you hard. So um, anyway, uh, I like her. In a game sense, I don't know. She didn't give me anything to really critique her on, but I think she's wonderful. Um, there's the cast, guys. Tell me what you think. I went through them all. There's not a lot to go off of. This cast just got released, and uh, and this is all we've got so far on them. Again, I do know Jess. Uh, she hangs out on my Twitch stream. I'll put the link below on my Twitch stream. Come check it out, guys. I will be doing breakdowns uh, every week on the, on the, on the, on the Twitch stream. Uh, I do know Steph. Not as well as I know uh, as Jess. Um... And everyone else, I think there's a lot of uh, really good people. If I were to pick one person right now, uh, who I think, uh, who would win, just uh, based off of nothing, literally off of nothing. Oh, God, I don't even know. Uh, off of nothing, who would I pick? I don't even know. I, I couldn't even tell you. I'll have to do a, a follow-up video when I can see everyone again. And, uh, and go over it and I'll give you a follow up video on that. But there is, there is potential. There is potential. I definitely see some potential in the cast, but, uh, time will tell time will tell. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment below. Tell me who your favorites are, who you want to win. Uh, who do you like? Who are you supporting? What do you think? Do you think you like the cast? Do you not like the cast? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for checking out. If you made it this far, I love you. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you on the Twitch streams as I break these down every single week. I'm out of here. I love you. Peace.